true vacuum we just spray it of light in all directions in a speed of light imagine it like setting a sea of gasoline the size of the universe on fire oh the my god life. it will destroy chemistry itself making life it will destroy the whole chemistry well Alright, welcome back to we got the most efficient way to destroy the universe, false vacuum. Now, if you're new, we got a whole playlist for these type of videos, the science reaction playlist. If you like videos like this, go check out more of those science reactions. We got all type of stuff in there, bro. All type of weird stuff, universe stuff, reality stuff. I like stuff like that. These are kind of my favorite videos to react to. Because I watch them at night, I love them. I love them, so I like to share them with y'all. Um, If you're new, go down there and comment recommend the video you want to see react on this channel it don't gotta be this just recommend anything you can go to the ig and recommend it too um like the video let's try and get five likes let's get into the video what if our universe comes with a self-destruct button to eliminate itself so cleanly and efficiently that every single physical thing would just stop existing and life would be impossible forever that would kind of be like easier though to go don't you think? Like, if everything just died, died at the same time without even knowing it died? Kinda. But ecological catastrophe. Vacuum decay. Vacuum decay. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. These are some of the best videos ever created, bro. To explain how our universe could Dun. destroy itself, we need to understand Dun. two principles. Dun. One, energy levels. A core idea in physics is that everything has an energy level. The higher the level. In the video we watched yesterday, how we can get to civilization like level six, and when we can be able to extract energy from anything, I mean anything, to the point where we don't even have to charge our phones. So go check that video out. I reacted to it yesterday. If you haven't seen it, it's up right now. I'll put an information box. Go check that out. It goes into more energy too. The more energy is in the system. Wood, for example, has a high level. It can be burned, a process that releases the chemical energy stored in its molecular bonds and turns it into heat. Okay. The ash left Ashes. over is at a lower energy level than the wood before. Stability. Two, stability. St I said stability. Look at me. I need to be watching English videos. Everything in our universe tries to move towards its ground state. Nice to be in advanced English. Completely stable and has as little like energy as possible. For example, a ball on a hill is unstable and has a lot of potential energy. When disturbed, it will roll down into the valley and lose its potential, potential energy in the process. The ball is now in its ground state and stable. It will okay. remain like that. Everything in our universe follows these two principles. If something has a lot of energy, it's unstable and wants to get rid of it to become stable and reach its okay, ground state. Okay, I'm fine. This is true for every system, even in the weird world of quantum mechanics. So quantum mechanics even follow this philosophy? If our current understanding of physics is correct, then the universe gets its properties from quantum fields. We explain them in detail in another video. For I gotta check video, it out. Imagine them as the rules of the universe. They tell particles how to behave and interact. Whoa. Like everything in the universe, they want to be in the lowest energy level possible, which is called a vacuum state. This has nothing to do with vacuum in space. It's just called this way because scientists are bad at naming things. Scientists do just be naming stuff, like weird stuff. Like scientists, bro, the planet names, like how come every planet in our solar system, well, other than us, all of them kind of got, what is it, Roman god names? And the rest they be naming, they just be naming numbers and stuff. It's weird. Imagine we moved to a planet. And it is, it's named after a weird number. They would have to change the name, bro. We think all the fields. Because imagine like 934577XX92 being the planet we live on in the future. It's not going to look good on the shirt. For the brand, they're going to change that. Two states, except maybe one. It's possible that the Higgs field is not stable, but metastable. Which is a fancy way of saying that it pretends to be stable, but really is not. <laughs> it would be a false vacuum. The Higgs field is responsible for giving particles their mass, which rules how almost everything in the universe interacts. What Whoa. would happen if the Higgs field is in a false vacuum? Think of our ball in the valley. The ball is the Higgs field. The valley might not be the so lowest what to the ball? for the Higgs field. There might be an even deeper valley that it wants so to So he's going to want to go more this farther down. The Higgs field has a lot of potential energy waiting to be released. The Higgs field could be like a piece of wood, but drenched in gasoline. 
waiting to set the universe on fire. So he just started digging. A like quantum tunneling could release the potential energy of the Higgs field. This could happen at any time and without warning. If at any point in space this yeah. so-called vacuum decay starts, there is no turning back. As the Higgs field crashes into the lower energy state, it releases a massive amount of potential energy. This energy pushes the space around it over the barrier, which releases more potential energy. Oh no, what just happened? A sphere of the new stable Higgs field or true vacuum Would grows the speed of light in all directions. In a speed of light? Imagine it like setting a sea of gasoline the size of the universe on fire. Oh the sphere my is surrounded God. by a shell of energy that devours everything it comes into contact with. Whatever it touches is eliminated from existence. The bubble Whatever it like immediately eliminated? Continue to grow forever, deleting the universe on its way. There is no way to Technically like basically just like a patch note to a game. Like basically deleting the whole like they just turn the servers off. That's what it is. They just turn the servers off of the game. Since it's so fast, but there's nothing we could do anyway. Our destruction would be instant. In a fraction mm. of a second, Earth would be gone. Just know when your favorite game server gets cut off, this is what like the NPCs to these happen to them, bro. That's what happens, bro. Actually gets worse. Think of it that way. The level of the Higgs field changes. It changes all of physics. In the true vacuum of the sphere, the standard we'll model flip. will be overthrown, superseded by different physics that we don't know. How fundamental oh particles behave, how atoms hold together, how chemicals react. Vacuum decay won't just destroy life, it will destroy chemistry itself, making life... It will destroy the whole chemistry? Well, I mean, at least someone had to go to chemistry class. To all the people out there in chemistry, I hated chemistry. No, it's impossible. We simply have no idea what it will be like inside. It might be a shadow of what it is now, <laughs> or not. We don't know. If vacuum decay happens, the outlook is indeed grim. Yeah, it looks scary. If you feel slightly worried now, don't be. At this point, force a little speculation based on our current understanding of particle physics, which might be wrong. We don't know that much yet, bro. We don't know basically anything. It's kind of like using a ruler to measure a continent. Yeah. Huh? Sure, you can do it. But you might it's gonna be take a long time. Quite a bit at the end. Yeah, you're right gonna be. You definitely no one will be can off. Say if vacuum decay is a thing that's real, or just a scary idea. Scary but idea. If one or multiple spheres of death have already started expanding, huh? the universe is so big that they might not reach us for billions of years. If oh. they're far enough away, they might not ever be able to reach us because of the expansion of the universe. Oh yeah, because the universe is expanding and it quickly expands, and the more it expands, the faster it expands. So even if it's there, the universe could be expanding faster than it's expanding if you're not following. It's just like, hmm. I put a circle on top of a bigger circle. And this bigger circle is now spreading. Or, okay, I pour water on the table. Then I pour a dye in the water. The water on an even table is just spreading faster and faster. And the dye is spreading. But the dye is isn't spreading as fast as the water, so it would never get to the center. I, I just had a weird analogy, but you felt you feel what I mean. It's not that fast on the scale of the universe. So while vacuum decay is fascinatingly scary, right now there it may are never reach us. We should be more afraid of. Yeah, it is. In contrast to vacuum decay, we have the power to prepare for most of them. Oh, okay. Videos like that's gonna be in the video, man. Let me know what y'all think of this. Yeah, y'all scared of vacuum decay? I'm a little scared. The universe just scares me in general, though. Like I said, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe. Go check out some more videos just like this, science reactions. That's gonna be in the video, man. Like, subscribe, Jayu. I love y'all. I am out.